Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this, the Travel Backpack 30 litre from Peak Design. Now, you can fit in here a 16 inch, that's the max size laptop. It's 1.4 kilos on its own. It's got a weatherproof construction and it's carry-on approved. So let's have a look at the construction first of all. So this is the front of the bag. It's very minimalist in design, which I absolutely love. And I love it in black. It does come in other colors. You can check that out on their website. Yeah, so on the front of this bag, you have um, some tether point now you've got one here and one here and the other two are hidden underneath here now this is a little flap with magnets don't know whether you can hear that and then inside here you have your compression straps so these are really easily and quickly deployed should you need to get off a plane and it's hot and you want to get rid of your jacket and put that on the front of your bag because there's no space inside and um, yeah you can just pop it inside there nice and easy and then you can get rid of these as easy as it is to deploy them. You can either take them off or just push them back up inside this compartment and then magnetically shuts. So that's the front of the bag. On the top here, you have this, what they call a quick stash pocket. Now, if we have a look inside here, this doesn't go all the way down the front of the bag. It goes down to about here, if you can see that. So you've got a variety of pockets here and here, and then a small one in the middle here. Oh, I just found a Peak Design sticker. Thank you very much. You also have this zipper pocket here, and inside here, you could probably fit neatly a SD card in each of these. So you've got one, two, three, four, five of those SD card pockets. And then of course you can fit your sunglasses into this pocket neatly. And then in terms of what you can fit in these pockets, a little compact camera, XF10, that goes in there quite nicely. And then in this pocket here, you could put spare or external battery. And then you've still got room for other stuff. You put a GoPro in there, that all closes up neatly. What else could you fit in there? You could fit a pair of Bose headphones. These are quite comfort 45s. If you fold them up, they just about go in here. You could easily fit a Sonos Rome speaker. That goes in there with additional space. Uh, you could probably fit, let's see, can you fit a water bottle in there? Not quite a 17 ounce water bottle. I think you get a general idea of what you can fit in there. So that's the quick stash pocket on the top. And then moving around the bag, on each of the sides, you have these um, pockets, which you can definitely fit your water bottle in. And that will hold it nice and secure. It does have some expansion on the side here. So you can fit that in that side, or you can easily fit it in the other side. I think they designed it also to fit the um, Peak Design Travel Tripod. Now I do have, and they very kindly sent me one of these. This is the aluminium travel tripod it will fit in there but I would suggest strongly that you tether it here and here with the compression straps otherwise it will fall out and obviously this is a little bit heavier so you could easily fit this in one side and then you could fit your water bottle in the other side let's have a look at that like so so that's nice and easy so that's how it would look okay let's get rid of those yeah, so moving around the bag, going back to the sides, we do have these grab handles. Now they have really strong grab handles on each of the sides of this, these, this bag. So there's another one on this side, there's one on the top here, and then there's also one on the bottom here. And again, this is really handy if you've got this in an overhead and you wanna quickly pull it out. So on the back of the bag, we have um, these two handles. These are both pass-through handles, so you could put this over your suitcase handle going this way, or you could also put your suitcase handle through it this way and have it the other way around. Where are the straps for this backpack? Now they're neatly hidden underneath this flap here. Pull those out and they are really good, strong padded straps as you would expect from a company like Peak Design. And if we pull that one out, so this swings around on, and it's hinged on here. So it just pivots on that stud and then you've got this sternum strap that easily hooks across there and that's actually nice and comfortable i will show some pictures of me wearing this at the end of the video so stick around for those if you're interested in seeing the fit so that's the sternum strap and i will also be showing you a capture clip fitting on this a little bit later so let's just hide those back underneath here and you've also got these tether points here 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 and here and then obviously on the side, you've got one here and another one here. So you've got plenty of places to use those com compression straps to tether things to the outside of the bag should you need it. The only other thing I haven't gone over yet is you do have a little ID pouch here. Now, this isn't big enough for your passport, but it is big enough for something that's credit card size. So you could put your business cards in there or maybe an ID card. There is a little bit of Velcro there. So that's 
quite handy to have that. Or otherwise you could put your AirPods in there if you wanted to risk it. So that really concludes the outside of the bag. So let's have a look on the inside. So you've got these really nice um, zippers. And again, this is weatherproof. So you've got a nice seal on the zips here. Nice, nicely rubberized. And just before I open the bag, I just want to show you this. There's a little security detail on this bag, which I didn't realize until earlier today. You can actually undo this, hook it through the other tag and then do it up again. So that's like a little sort of security theft prevention type thing. I don't think anyone else has covered that. I've not seen any other reviews covering that. So I think that's been missed before, but I quite like that little touch. And again, really strong rubberized zippers. So going inside this bag. So main compartment, we have, we have four pockets altogether. This one here, which is just one whole pocket. This one's a whole pocket, no divides on that. And then down the side, on both sides, it's mirrored. You've got this pocket here. The zipper goes all the way along, but there's a divide here. So you then have this little section here just for sort of, you put your AirPods in there. You could put a spare battery in there. Uh, maybe you could fit in some SD cards in that one. You get the idea of what you can fit. And then in terms of what you can put into these pockets, I would strongly suggest not putting any power bricks or anything like that in. You could probably fit some, this is a five meter tether cable. So you could fit that in there nice and easy because what I'm going to show you in a second is you can expand this bag, put a camera cube in here. So you don't really want anything too big and bulky on the bottom here, because that will prevent you being able to zip the bag up, even though it's in expansion mode. As you can probably see on the inside of the bag, there are some connection points all the way along the sides. So you've got four along here, four along this side and two here. Now that's so you can connect securely your camera cube inside the bag. And again, you can do that via the expansion method. Um, you can't do it whilst it's compressed. In compressed mode, this bag is, I've been told, 27 litres. In expansion mode, it's 33 litres. All right, so let's have a look at the lid on this bag. So this is where you put your laptops. And as I think I mentioned in the beginning, you can fit a 16 inch maximum size laptop down there. And then this is where your iPad or tablet could go. So in terms of fitting a laptop in here, this is a MacBook Air and that easily goes in with plenty of space. Now I have a iPad with a Logitech case and keyboard and that won't go into, this is the 12.9 inch, that won't go into the iPad pocket. It will go in with the MacBook Air easily down the back there. Makes this a little bit heavy, but it's still nice and robust. There's a lot of foam padding inside this panel here. So I think it's gonna be well protected. So let's just take those out. Okay, so I think that's really everything covered on the inside of the bag and the laptop section. So let's go into expansion mode. The expansion zip is here. Gives you a little bit more space, as you can see. do that not too much but just enough so you can open it back up and then you spin it back around so this is a medium camera cube so that fits in there neatly obviously designed for that and then in terms of other items you can fit in here if obviously you've got the cables underneath but this is a peak design sling which will fit really neat on the end there and then so as you can see, it gives it a little bit more depth to the bag, but not too much. And you can still squash it down should you need to force it into one of those baggage cages just to prove that it is a carry-on sized bag. Okay, so the only other thing I was going to show you was the fitting of the capture clip. Now, if we bring these straps back out, initially I thought you could mount the capture clip here, because obviously that would be where you would kind of almost expect it to go. But when wearing it, and again, I've got some images at the end that I will show you, it works out better if it's here and it's actually a perfect width. If you're not familiar with what the capture clip is, this is an additional item. This doesn't come with the bag. If you're out about, if you're doing landscape photography, if you're doing street photography and you want quick access to your camera. So this just goes onto the strap. Have a look at the picture at the end and you can see me wearing it uh, just to give you an idea of positioning. So this is the Fuji XE1 and I already have on here the Peak Design eye plate. Now this is a camera plate that goes on the bottom. It comes with a Peak Design Arca Swiss plate and then you can mount it directly onto your capture clip like so. And it's super strong 
on there you can lock it in place and that's not going anywhere so that is the um, capture clip from peak design also so that was our quick look at a 30 litre travel backpack from peak design now if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i'll also list all the peak design items that i've shown today uh, in the description and i'll put them somewhere on the screen thank you very much for watching today's video and i'll definitely see you in the next one bye for now